That was the scene in California's Mojave Desert five years ago. Our historic first view of the newcomer's ship. Theirs was a slave ship carrying a quarter million beings bred to adapt and labor in any environment. But they've washed ashore on Earth with no way to get back to where they came from. And in the last five years, the newcomers have become the latest addition to the population of Los Angeles. Matthew, <clears throat> we are wanted in Gracious' office. To get the jackets and reload? Yes, they're in the car. And as soon as I get my breakfast, we're back out there. And what about Gracious? What about him? Well, we can't ignore his orders. Matt, that is not how that machine works. <laughs> Want a bet? couple days. Get me some? Hey, man, I'm just passing through. Hey, damn it, Sykes. I'm coming off of a triple shift. I'd be home right about now if this cowboy hadn't tried to mug somebody in front of the station. Should have thought of that before you busted him. I directed the black and whites to do their bookings through Rampart. It shouldn't be too bad up here. Yes. Yo, George, let's move. You're not going anywhere. We are to hold down the fort. Uh, that's his job? Come on. Hold it. Because of the ongoing trouble, i.e. Los Angeles burning, I feel I can best serve the city by attending the chief's crisis control meeting. Okay, so find somebody else who wants to sit behind a desk. We're hitting the streets. There is no one else. What are you talking about? The place is crawling with pencil push. End of discussion. Now, if you'll excuse me, the chief has scheduled a briefing in less than an hour. Oh, and he's expecting you. There's a riot going on, Sykes. I'm not sitting around here waiting for an invitation. I'm going down there to confer with my colleagues on tactical procedures. Wait a minute. Tactical procedures, you're not pulling out that thesis again. <laughs> this thesis graduated me from college with honors. It's a bunch of numbers and charts. It has nothing to do with what's going on in the streets. Oh, Napoleon's Russian defeat has nothing to do with what's going on? Well, I beg your pardon, Mr. History means nothing. But the lessons the French army taught us about deployment of troops and supplies can be very useful to a modern police force under riot conditions. Of course, there are obvious parallels. I don't kiss up to him. He can kiss up to me anytime he likes. I wasn't kissing up anyone. Yeah, you were. You were kissing up to him. And I'm not sitting here in this stink hole while he showboats for the brass. Want to bet? Perhaps if you applied the baking soda I provided, the stink hole wouldn't stink so badly. Don't start again with that sensitive nose routine. It is not a routine. The collective odors of the collective bodies of humans under these conditions has inflamed my nasal cavity. How'd you like another cavity inflamed? <clears throat> Look, Brian, how about if I pull two triple shifts and uh, stop talking about you behind your back? Here's the duty roster update. 
Mitchell and Foster will be in to relieve you tomorrow at 0800. Swell. Hey, what do you think you're doing? That's city property. I catch you doing that again, you'll be cleaning toilets. I already cleaned the toilets. Yeah, I got him printed and I threw his personals on my desk. Yes, fine. Well, what do you mean, yes, fine? Hey, he's like, get a life. He's got a phone call coming. Don't forget. I have a very keen memory. You remember we clean our own fish around here. You're my partner, George, not his. Partner? Yes, I am your partner, not your trained seal. Now, we are stuck here, so what difference does it make if I process this man so Dobbs can go home and take a well-deserved bath? However, if you two continue to hover around me, oozing that body odor, I may very well lose whatever self-control I have left and throw you both through an open window. I'm out of here. Grazer says I have a bad attitude. Two dispatch, one Adam 56. Put us 10-8 out of the station at 9.56. This gig better be worth it. I'm telling you, with this riot going on, there's got to be millions in that locker. Anything you want. Anything. How long does he do this for? Uh, until the candy falls out. I brought you some leftover bladder and some lobes. I'm not hungry. Did you bring the air freshener? Will you eat? You look exhausted. Is there any reason why it took you two hours to get here today? I'm sorry. Buck took his time bringing the car home, and traffic was terrible. Buck was out joyriding in the car while I am breathing vaporized garbage. It's time you had a talk with him. George, I think I'm just going to get your clothes out of your locker. I see. And get up here. Detective Francisco. Well, I... Yes, sir. Yes, I will take, fill out a report, and I will send an officer uh, when he is available. Ma'am, I am sorry. Uh, perhaps an hour. Could you please hold one moment? I'm sorry. It'll be over soon. No, Svala. Pim to vote. No, Oh, yes, ma'am. Thank you for holding. Uh, could you describe the young man? Oh, yes. Detective Sykes is here. Who's that? It's a, a Miss Letitia Rosario. She asked for you personally. She said that the... Letitia Rosario! How the hell are you? Yeah? Yeah, what... What's... What kind of lewd behavior? Oh, well, I wouldn't worry about it. He's probably just a little frustrated. Detective Francisco. Yeah? It, is the gunman still there? Mm -hmm. Ah, well, then I'm afraid all I can do is just write down the information. No, I can't see that you ever frustrated me. Yes, ma'am, I have your name. <laughs> hmm? uh, hold on a second. Sykes, it's for you. Uh, so I'm going to grab another phone. Hang on. Uh, could you please hold on one minute? Yes, thank you. This is Detective Francisco. Hey, Georgie. You get my man booked yet? No, but I am working on it. Yeah, well, don't take too long, because, you know, I'll catch all the flack. Well, we wouldn't want that to happen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah. yeah. The kids aren't home. I beg your pardon. Nothing, man. Jurisprudence, George. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Detective Francisco.
Anything happened yet? Chief's coming down at 11. A fire battalion got peppered with small caliber gunshots over on Wheaton. Looks like the revolution's breaking out at the seams. How do I get on the agenda? Start with the guy wearing the bow tie. He's taking orders for lunch. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Look, lady, I don't care what race, color, creed, or religion you are. We don't have an officer available to get your cat out of a tree. Well, I get a big saw. You're welcome. What? I'm very good at answering the telephones and taking messages. Go for it. Hello, police department, Albert, the janitor speaking. <laughs> Hello. Tisha. Hey. He said that with a knife? Okay, stay put. Right. 4856 Newton 311. Be right over. Where are you going? Some guy wants to hack up an old girlfriend of mine. I'll dispense your black and white. There aren't any. It's just down the block. I'll handle it. Matthew, I can't handle this alone. Albert's a gold mine. I'll be cleaning the toilets. Yep. OK, I got one phone call. The place isn't going to get any emptier. Let's do it. Transformers just around the corner. I don't think you understand. Because of the trouble on the west side, our response time is... Hello. Ah! Albert! What happened? Uh, I'm sure it's just a brief power of failure. Uh, why don't you stay here? Sounded like it came from dispatch. Get to the weapons locker. I'll work on emergency backup. We've lost one detective. Dispatch in the desert. Good. Backup generator's right on schedule. There's probably two or three more in the building. They don't leave. We've got 20 minutes. Let's use them well.
human. Stay here. Albert. Stay there. Let me check the loading dock. See you, pal. Ben Sykes. Oh, you know me, donuts and beer. And meter maids. No desire after you left. Sykes, I'm in law school now. I teach you to pick up on the ball. <laughs> uh, look, Letitia, I'd love to sit under your window all night, but there's a riot going on. We had a couple of riots in here, didn't we? <laughs> look, Tish, uh, why don't I take a description of this guy and... You didn't see him when he left last night. He was wired. When he called this morning, he wasn't fooling around. He's coming back. Okay, we'll give it a few more minutes. Thanks. You look good. So, what are you doing going out with a guy who's gonna chop you up? <laughs> we met in my ethics class. He was after me since day one. It was a mercy date to get him off my back. <laughs> it's amazing who they take in law school these days. This year, I'm back. And you're under arrest. Ah! Come on, man, don't make this hard. I'm gonna cut you, man. Put the knife away, and I won't break your face. Charging you for a new shirt. And a trip to the emergency room. This stuff is as pure as it looks. We got 10 million sitting right here. There's plenty of time for that when we're out of here. Holy Mother Teresa. Half the stuff isn't even cataloged. These guns are untraceable gold mines. Hey, man, look over here. There's a suitcase full of cash. Hey, all right. <laughs> all right, that's enough. Daywatch is due in 10 minutes. I want to be gone in seven. Are we clean? Maybe not the top floor. Then get up there. Everything's got to be clean. You know the drill. Check every room, barricade every exit. Are you listening? Nobody's getting in or out. The main corridor's clean. Hey, what the hell is that? We stick to the drill. Understood? All right, let's move it. Oh, man, Letitia, slow down. Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. I gotta uh, do something. I'm fine. I'll just check myself into the... Sykes, you're cut really bad. I'll keep trying 911. Just wrap it. Where's my shirt? I'm soaking it. It's kind of red. Letitia, I gotta call the office. I already did. The line's busy. George must be going nuts. Sykes, drink your juice. Catch your breath. I'll get hold of your partner. <sighs> Jackpot here. Yeah, can he really set up a gold mine for us here? How are we doing on time? We're okay, we're okay. Just keep moving. It's a good thing we have two hearts. Just lie still. What's going on? What happened? Someone is trying to take over the station. Uh -huh. 
That explosion is probably the evidence locker. Oh, Albert, I've got to get you to a doctor. No, I'll be fine. You have to find Susan. Susan, she's still here. I tried to protect her. I'm sorry. Lie still. Leave me. Too easy to find. Marshal Kutuzov beat Napoleon by not defending Moscow against popular opinion. We can disperse this riot by not worrying about the art center and countering in key parts of the city. The mayor screaming to defend the art center at all costs. Politics have to be thrown out in a crisis situation. If the mayor keeps sticking his nose in this police action, the entire city will be lost. Kutuzov bucked public opinion and won. It's, it's all here. Mind? Oh, be my guest. I think you'll find a very focused, clear presentation with very little room for argument. I don't know what we're all sitting around waiting for. I should be on the podium. We're wasting time. Excuse me. This isn't right. I ordered the lobster salad. Someone have my lobster salad? Get this last load. I'll find her. I got through to the paramedics. They're on their way. These cold towels are not. You're feeling better because you're sitting down and I got that arm wrapped. You got a five-inch gash in your arm, Sykes. Did you get through to my partner? I'm trying. You guys pay your phone bill this month? No more mercy dates, okay? Keep me busy and you got a deal. Tell them to put down their weapons or I will exchange gunfire. Is that clear? It won't do any good. If anything has happened to my wife, I will see you burn in wherever you turts burn best. Put your hands in the air. Now, I want you to turn around very slowly. Now take your weapons and put them on the ground. All right. I want you to lock your hands behind your head and get on your knees. Why don't you do the same? Stay there! How long do you think this is gonna last? Shift will be over in a few minutes. Let her go. <laughs> don't be stupid. Get in the van! Stay or he is dead! All right, let me go. She'll let go of your wife. That is the only deal you're gonna get. Let her go. She's a lot more valuable than he is. Get in the van! George. George. It's a good thing you had a vest on. Yeah. They, they went west, George. I saw them. Did they have Susan? Yes. I'm sorry. Never get an open circuit. Jo you can't go alone. Albert, 
You are hurt. I will be all right. George, I want to help. Stay here. Inform the watch what happened. All right, George. Albert, if something should happen, be with the children. I will, George. Four, eight, five, six. Newton. Matthews. Four, eight, five, six. Newton. As the Latino community continues to erupt in scattered violence over what now appears to be a gang-related incident, emergency crews from Orange and San Bernardino counties have been moving in for relief. He was the one with the plan. What did you have to kill him for? His plan changed. Watch the road. You killed him! Shut up, you stupid turd. You shut up! I don't even know where I'm going. Ken knew how to fence this stuff. You blew it, you stupid slag bitch. Just drive. Detective Francisco, I need an open tank through dispatch on a code 13. Yes, it is a primary emergency. Keep trying, dispatch. I'll continue to follow. Maddie? I'm okay, really. I just gotta... What are you doing here? What happened? The station. G George. I can't. I can't. It's okay, Albert. Just take it easy. Take it easy. You'll be fine. George is the only one left. George, what, what are you talking about? So much has happened. He needs... You. George, George, can you hear me? Where the hell are you? I've just followed them into an abandoned factory. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Leave him alone and let him fix it. Don't ask. We only need one thing. That can. We need it all. No, we don't. Lady, just take off and let me do what I need to do. <coughs> Axel's bent. Forget the van. Forget it. It's what it's all about. It's why you killed Kenny. No, it's not. Yes, it's an abandoned factory, 300 block of Vasco Way. Matthew, I don't understand. When can they give us support? I don't know. I don't know. This whole riot thing is completely out of control. Ten city blocks are a disaster area. I had to raise my voice a tad just to get Albert admitted to the hospital. Well, I can't just sit here. I know, I know. It's out already! Come on, get out of the way! What? Oh, nothing. Uh, a little hung up here. Well, there are three of them. Two human males and one newcomer female. Matthew, they have Susan. Yeah, I know. They've also got a lot of firepower and a low respect for police officers. George, don't be a hero. I'll get his help. I can get it fixed. Hey, I've got the parts, I've got the tools, hey, I can you... do it, just give me a half hour. Don't you, got... you understand the van is not important hey, man. anymore? The can is all that we need. Everything is in there, we can't just leave it. We have got maybe 15 minutes before they get here. I am not sticking around. Who the hell cares? You are dumber than I thought. Look here, let's just get everything we can carry and get the hell out of here, man. No! 
We can't leave it. Everything's in there. Don't you understand me? Everything. Man, everything I need is right here. Adios. Napoleon rushed to Moscow, just like the National Guard rushed into Miami with the Cuban thing, and into Detroit in 92, like they're doing now, right here. It's all one big tactical mistake. You make it look so obvious. It is obvious if you read your history books. I tell you, after today, my thesis will be textbook material for the entire law enforcement agency. You know, if this works in the streets, you'll make commander before you're 40. 40? You're being between the sheets by now. Albert gave me a call from the hospital. Dispatch gave me the location. Where's the party? Not sure. I got one down by the van. No sign of anybody else or my partner. You got his wife, huh? Yeah. My guess is that George is out there trying to find her, trying to bring her back. Let's give him hell. I'll get my gear. I think this valve would help. How'd you know? How could any of us forget the smell on the ship? It seems like we breathed it for a lifetime. Celia, there's nothing holy about it. They controlled us with this. It reduced us to rope. It's a lash. And Stala, with this. I can control an alien nation. I can control the whole damn planet. It's an army that'll do what I say when I tell them. It's like being... Huh? Please answer me. Yeah. An overseer.
voice only, Susan. Kill him. Don't shoot it, Susan! George, get the hell back here. We're not gonna have very many options. What's going on? I smelled the Ark, again. That stuff they used on the ship? Susan is being controlled by the Ark, again. What are we talking about? She's pumped with that gas that the overseers used to control her cargo. Oh, yeah, kind of like why they chained my great-grandfather on a slave ship. She'll do whatever she's told. Obey the command of one voice. And that voice doesn't seem to want us around. So when does this stuff wear off? From what we know, a small amount produces a chain reaction. It could be hours or days, depending on the concentration. Ha, ha, ha! Baby! Follow me. There's one concept I'm not quite sure about. On page 52, this chart shows the Russian general's reinforcements. Marshal Kutuzov, yes. How does that compare to the riot? That's the wild card factor. Look at Appendix D. The wild card factor can be reinforcements, food, ammunition. Well, I'm not sure how that would work in an inner city situation, but you sure have done some work here. It'll work. Look at Appendix 4F, McKnight. Even a third grader can understand that summary. Well, this is something. It's all here. Oh, my God. Why didn't I get this earlier? What are you doing? A little problem at my division. Oh, wait a minute. You got to deliver this report. My division's in trouble, McKnight. What would you do? Well, first I'd consider the city. And then I'd give that report to somebody with a, a mind like yours, somebody who could get it out, get it working. Oh, no, 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 I couldn't. Oh, come on, we've been talking about it all morning. You'll do fine. If they have any questions, you know who to have them call. We have to move. Agreed. Hey, what, what do we do if she should... What? What would you do if you were staring at the gun she was pointing at you? So we got one option. We get to the voice that's controlling Susan before Susan gets to us. The hell was that? The big one. He's up on that furnace. I will draw him out. You circle around. No. I'll draw him out. Matt, your arm. I would stand a better chance. You have a better chance of staying alive, certainly. George, your kids would feel a whole lot better if one of you walked away from this. Be careful. Yeah, that's me, Mr. Careful. Take it easy. Come on down. Hey, nothing's gonna bring me down. Let's get on with it. Freeze, please. What is he doing? 
looks like he's exchanging himself for your wife. He doesn't understand. She will use Susan against him. Go. Check his car. Get in the squad car. Now, Susan. Is it empty? No. There's a policeman. Get him out. Get him out, or you're dead right here. Jenkins! Get out of the car! Drop your gun. You're dismissed. In the front seat, Susan. Move. Move! Get in. That's it. What's it? We have to stop the car. Matt, give me your gun. Drive. And I can guarantee you the bullet will have no trouble getting through the seat. Say that. Come on, George, do it. She all right? I have to get her away from the gas. Right, sir? Great. Real neat. You think it's a gas? Bry, babe. Put your foot in your mouth. <laughs> this has a lot of potential. <laughs> Yo. Keep working on it, guy. George? She'll be all right. Matt. Thank you. Hey! Why don't we all go get tattoos? Dobbs, Dobbs, get away from me! Come on, Sykes, buddy, friend, it's ring night! They're passing our championship ring to the Clippers, and the tickets are impossible to get. I'm not switching shifts with you. Oh, you're a real pal, Sykes. Yeah, that's me. I'd be happy to take the tickets for you. I'd right, eat them first. I want to find out what division McKnight is with. I want to know why everyone thinks my plan was his plan, why no one's called me, and who put him in charge. Sykes! What? I'm right here. You don't have to yell. Oh, I got to yell. You and George handled the arrest of a uh, Harry Dundee. Never heard of him. Your memory is eggplant. Where's your partner? Checking Albert out of the hospital. We didn't handle a uh, Harry whatever. Well, then quit throwing bogus reports on my desk, huh? Look, I'm sorry somebody stole the credit for your thesis and ended the riot, but it's like you said, even a fourth grader could have come up with it. Yeah, well, you yeah, may be right, but uh, I should be the fourth grader getting that credit, huh? You know, and sooner or later, somebody here is going to explain to me how I got this tattoo. Letitia. Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, say, you remember that 
guy, Harry? Yeah, right. Uh, listen, do me a favor. Lean out your fire escape window. He is. OK. Uh, yeah, I'm going to come over in a little bit. What's that? Ooh, I love bubbles. Thank you.